Hello my brothers and sisters and nerdiness, welcome back to the spider's web and now we're painting the gateway for our castle wall uh, MDF kits. These were provided by Andy from Wigan War Games and Role Playing Group. And we're starting off first of all with dark grey blue like we already have. It's safe to say that at the moment all the paints we're going to be using will be Vallejo um, game sorry model uh, colors now what I've done to start this off is primed it all black and then gone over with like a zenithal highlight with grey just to pick out some details um, so all we're doing with this now dark grey blue is really what we did in the previous one picking out any shadowed areas um, any overhang beneath any overhangs in corners whatnot and then we're going to be just making little patterns and designs on the uh, on the walls no rhyme or reason to it just squiggles here and there you're not going to see these in the very end product but there's something of interest that your eye doesn't sort of like immediately recognize but you can you know there's something there it's not just flat gray so when we've uh, finished doing what we're doing with the that colour will we'll move on to a paler colour which in this case will be light grey hmm light grey now we're basically going to do nearly of a similar thing just um, going along making little designs uh, but instead of doing the shadow areas we're going to be doing the more highlighted areas with this it's not an exact highlights but it's just going to add a little brightness to the model now I'm painting over the lintels over the over the archway as well but in all honesty I decided to change it later on so uh, don't be too worried about that one <laughs> and as I say it's just squiggle 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 and just hit anywhere where it's going to be exposed a little more to light so yeah that's all we're doing with that now we're going to pick out some of the stonework like we did in the previous video. We're going to be doing these roughly all the same. And this one is going to be, this paint we're going to be using as you can see is middle stone. This one I'm running quite short of at the moment. And again we're just going to be picking out the occasional stone here and there on this stonework design. So random, don't be too fussy about which ones you do uh, pick out just the occasional one here and there you know you don't you know they don't have to be well it's better if they aren't in look as though you're doing your design just doing little random ones wherever you see fit really I'm not paying too much attention to the inside of the gateway because that's going to be really in shadow and you're not going to see much of it but I'm going to add a few bits here and there it will be darkened up later with a wash so uh, again not too big a deal over this now I'm going to change colour once more and we're going into a darker colour that we used last time but this time we're going to be doing mahogany we're not picking out any uh, stonework at this moment we're going to be just concentrating on the doors those big wooden doors and as you can see these do open up and because they open up we have to be careful and we don't get any in the in any paint in the holes or on the uh, base of it or the top of it which can actually make it stick so being very careful there's a little bit of a knob on the top of it so I'm just sanding that off at the moment so I can so it's completely flat so it doesn't scrape off the paints from the inside um, I thought I'd done it already but obviously I hadn't and as you can also see I'm not worried too much yet about overspray on the doors because um, we've not painted the inside yet which we're going to be doing later so that's not going to be an issue and anywhere when it comes down to doing the the walls and whatnot we can always disguise it with like a dust effect a dirt effect that kind of thing so again 
not really too worried about um, any overspray for these but just trying to be as careful as I can so it doesn't go everywhere but you are going to get paint where you don't want it as you can see from the bottom of the uh, sorry on the base of the model in the archway you'll see a little arch of brown there but again it's going to be painted over now we're going to go into burnt umber now we're going to be picking out stones again and once more it's just random wherever you want to put them no rhyme no reason about this it's just making different piece making different blocks of stone out of a different material as it were if you get me drift um so yeah it's just wherever you want to put them don't make it a set pattern though if you make it a set pattern it looks odd um or if it's random it looks more interesting um and it looks as though people have just been picking up rocks uh from a pile and just plonking them on to build the castle wall and you can also probably see that there is still some burr um, MDF in these side pieces. Again, not going to be an issue because when they're put together, you're not going to see those. They do slot together. Um, and you'll see that later on in the video. Now we're going on to Ferrari Red. Unfortunately, this particular Ferrari is not going to move anywhere. <laughs> um, well, yeah, it's just a nice red colour that works well with the the colours we're going to be putting over the top because we are going to be washing this like we did in the previous one um, so it's, it's, as I say it's just different it's just going to be make out different coloured rocks that's all different coloured stones boulders whatever you want to call them um, bricks if you want but obviously it's a castle wall so it's going to be made out of big rocks um, so I, I'm reluctant to call them rocks and boulders a brick well sorry I'm reluctant to call them bricks <laughs> um, well there you go it's just different types of rocks making up the same uh, building as it were so into the red I've decided to add a little bit of blue just to make a purpley colour it's not bright purple it's uh, more of a dark bluey grey purple but it's the and we're adding some more and this is the one I decided to do the lintels with as you can see um, it looked a little better looked a little more imposing shall we say than just having a light lintel it just stands out a lot more um, with the rest of the grey so I thought what the heck give it a go I want a bit more here and there on the top as well but I've realized my mistake because I didn't put any of that on the previous one so I'm, I've had to lighten this one down quite a bit to match with the previous one I've done but saying that I've also um, made some adjustments to the previous one which I'll show you later on another thing as well that I forgot to mention on this one in the front of the walls you might just see a slight difference in colour I glued sand to the base at the bottom of the walls now we're going to go over dark earth and this is what reminded me because I realised what I was doing and I'm just going over those sanded areas with this and all over the base um, and a little bit on the walls as well just to show a little bit of wear and tear and to show that dust and dirt has been kicked up with storms and whatnot and we're going over the entire base with this which i didn't do on the previous one which is one of the adjustments we're going to be making to the previous one in this video so we're bringing that one in again so you can have another look and um, that's that previous one yeah, is, is the staircase leading up to the top of the walls and if I remember at the end if I remember rightly at the end of this video because I did shoot it a couple of days ago I uh, I actually showed you how these fit together as well at the end of the video so uh, 
stay tuned for that if you're interested because you can see the jutty out bits and the gaps um, at the side of the video at the side of the wall sorry so um, yeah I'll show you exactly how they fit together so although you can't see because of my big head um, I am blasting the bottom of the doors blasting the bottom of the walls with this as well and making sure the edges are done and here we go with bringing the old previous one in and once again doing exactly the same as we've done on this one the base and the bottom of the walls it didn't take long to do the other one because it was only a, it was a much smaller model and there wasn't as much space so to fit in with the previous model we're going to be gluing some more um, clump foliage along the bottom of the wall and we add something else as well with this once more you can't see because of my head and I do apologize for that at some point I'm going to realize that my head gets in the way too much and I'll attempt to remove it but yeah <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> so I'll have some more glue to the middle there and I'm thinking to myself at this point I don't want to put this all across so let's get some um, painter tufts and put a tuft of grass there as well just to make it a little different and we'll fill up any space with the clump foliage so that's what we've done and then we'll get the clump foliage away bridge it with some of the accelerator and get back to painting so CD palette has come out now and my heads are there as well let's get the wash out this is Emma painter's strong tone wash I am getting very low on this which is why I'm using it on this just to get rid of it um, I'm going to be getting a big tin of this for doing these minis oh, for, well for doing these kits um, and as you can see when you put this dark tone on it darkens down the bright colours on the wall quite well quite and quite dramatically um, you don't see them as they're not as bright they do stick out a little bit but we hide that down um, in the next step which we'll have to wait until the paint dries or the wash dries for the next step um, but I say, I'm just going very fast forward with this one they've increased the speed um, but once this is all applied um, it's just a case of drying time and that drying time will start round about ooh, now So we're going to continue now with mahogany and this mahogany we're going to be painting on all the areas that I didn't paint before like this ledge underneath the battlements um, I should have painted that originally but I didn't because I forgot to <laughs> and once we've done that bit that those little prongs that are sticking out underneath it we're going to be painting those and once we've done those as the vertical parts that were the tabs um, that slot into the holes in the brick wall area uh, we're going to be doing those as well just to make them stand out just a little bit more give it a bit more detail on the front so there we are that is that we're not touching any more now on the walls for the time being what we're doing instead is bringing in some monster brown i believe um yes it is monster brown I didn't slow that down for some strange reason but we're just doing vertical little vertical random stripes on the doors themselves now as you can see they go on quite bright don't let that worry you because they will fade down and it's just to show a little wood grain in the doors that's all this is for we're not being we're not looking for coverage here we're just looking for little marks that would imply a wood grain and like a bit of sun bleaching as well possibly um but as i said they do it does go on bright and it does fade down so don't be too worried about that now let's get some mummy robe by army painter on our cd palette and um 
get our dry brush make sure it is dry get some paper get it in the paint and rub it on the back of your hand on the side of your hand so you can see how much paint is coming off and then we're giving it a good dry brushing all over um, now what I want to do really is try and get it so that it matches the previous building but unfortunately um, at the moment now Andy has these buildings back so I'm going to have to guess in future so hopefully I can do a decent job of matching up from memory <laughs> just make it a little brighter on the walkways that's all I need to do but yeah dry brush with this mummy robe all over the place um, and then in a second I'm going to bring in the previous building and show it how so it locks all together uh, but before that we're just going to highlight any wooden areas with some desert yellow and obviously you can like the video press the notification bell so you don't miss any more videos from me and if you'd like the videos that I've done you can subscribe as well you can always uh, help out financially with the videos by in two ways the first choice is buy me a coffee and the second choice is become a patron um, but before we bring out the uh, other building to show how we do it I just want to say thank you for watching this video I hope you enjoyed it and uh, we'll be slotting these together in a second to show you how they go together really nice design as well but uh, as it stands for this video that's all we have time for hope you've enjoyed it so as always stay safe and take care god bless and bye for now